Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to do another update with the war going on in Quebec. Uh, Rizzuto mob versus Hell's Angels. All the proxy wars that are uh, a, a part of this. And we're going to touch on some new players. Well, new players in terms of you know the public consumption sphere. But this is a group that's been around for about five years. And uh, we talk a lot about the Hells Angels, the Rizzutos, Tupac's uh, Rat Pack Mob, the Blood Family Mafia, um, the the Celestine group, the Marauders, uh, and now we're going to bring in a new group called Arab the Arab Power Crew, and uh, this is a group of uh, Middle Eastern immigrants to Canada or or second generation uh, Middle Easterners from uh, from Canada. And uh, it looks like they are kind of free agents, I guess you would say. Um, guys or a crew uh, led by two guys that are in prison right now. The the kind of, you know, the main boss is a guy named Jonas Afaki, uh, who goes by the nickname Big Brother. He's doing a, a, a prison sentence for murder. And then uh, the younger shot caller here is uh, Sylvain. Kobuchi, a.k.a. The Storm, um, a leader of uh, a subgroup called the Choblock Mafia out of Laval. And these guys came on the scene in the late 2000s and th- the late 2010s. And it looks like they've been doing hits, carrying out murder contracts for both sides of this conflict since then. And we're not sure at this very second what... Uh, what camp they are loyal to, if they're still trying to play both sides against the middle. Uh, the, the two leaders are not on the street, so that says something. And then I want to point to a report last week by uh, the Journal de Montreal that did some great reporting on Greg Woolley and his connection to Arab power. Uh, so it looks like at the end, according to the, the reporting by the uh, Journal de, Le Journal de Montreal, um, that Greg Woolley was sending warning to the Rizzutos uh, that this Arab power crew was formidable and that he was worried about them and uh, their emergence in, in the Quebec underworld. Uh, he tried to mediate a beef between the Arab power crew and an Italian businessman in Quebec, Tony Accurso. Didn't really work out. Journal de Montreal is reporting that Arab power is being looked at as the trigger men or the actual hit crew that carried out the Greg Woolley assassination last November, November 17th, 2023. I'll add on to this reporting from our end at, at, at OG Pod and Gangster Report that the belief in in some uh, some in law enforcement believe that the contract for Woolley's life went from the Hell's Angels to the Rat Pack mob and their leader Anna Atna, aka Tupac, and then Tupac and the Rat Pack mob farmed it out to Arab power. Um, Arab power is also a suspect in the murder of a lieutenant of Greg Woolley's, um, a right-hand man of Jean-Philippe Celestine, the butcher, who I know it's, you got to keep a scorecard here. I know it's complicated. Uh, Celestine was a, a, a Rizzuto street gang lieutenant that uh, took over for it was Greg Woolley's right hand took over for Greg Woolley and then defected to the Hell's Angels. He's now a member of the Marauders Motorcycle Club, fighting for the Hell's Angels in this in this conflict. And in 2021, one of his top lieutenants, a guy named uh, Nicho Lepay, Le, Le, Le mm-hmm. I'm probably butchering the name. I apologize. He went by the nickname Crank, um, but Lepay was 
the Rizzuto streaking operations kind of main pimp, you know, the guy that ran all the prostitution rings, shook down all the strip clubs, and he was murdered in 2021. And the top suspect is Arab Power, specifically the Storm Sylvain Kabuchi, who uh, is considered the person that uh, put that murder contract into motion. Um, so I, I want to take this all the way and further contextualize. And this is something that also was touched on by General de Montreal. Even though we're just kind of learning about Arab power right now, there's been a, some stories in the uh, local media in Quebec. I've been writing about them a little bit. I'm going to start writing about them and doing some more video content on them over the last month or two. It looks like these guys were brought in before the Hells Angels and Rizzuto mob, before their relationship officially fell apart. Um, Arab power was starting to do some muscle work for um, that alliance that was on its last legs between the Hells Angels and the Rizzutos. And then, according to General de Montreal, Mark, Markins Vilmi, a.k.a. Big M, is a suspect um, in the murder of Dirty Diaz, who was, and, they, and, and uh, that hit crew has actually been, um, most of that hit crew was, was, was caught and locked up. Uh, Dirty Diaz was a member of the Ni Niagara Hells Angels in Ontario, and there are, are a lot of people in law enforcement that trace the bad blood and the disintegration of the uh, long-term business relationship between Hells Angels and Rizzuto's to the spring 2019 murder of Dirty Diaz, who was a younger guy in the Hells Angels orbit, was kind of a collector, uh, was a favorite of some of the guys that are uh, big time shot callers right now. Uh, one include Rob Barletta, Teflon Rob uh, was a big fan of Dirty Diaz's and Hell's, according to my research, Rizzuto Mob had an issue with Dirty Diaz in their joint drug dealing operations. And instead of going through the proper channels, um, they just killed him. And Marty Robert and the Hells Angels took that as kind of an act of war. Uh, it took a couple years for the war to break out, but we know for a fact that the hit team came from Montreal. We know that a lot of them were uh, tried and convicted. We know that the getaway driver in the hit who was acquitted of the charges was killed less than a year ago uh, back in December of 2023 um, as retaliation allegedly by the Hells Angels for the murder of Dirty Diaz. And now it looks like Arab Power might have been the ones that got that contract. Um, we hadn't heard that before. Some of the names of the hitters uh, that we knew about because they went on trial back in 23 uh, were of Middle Eastern descent. But now, based on General de Montreal, um, it looks like that hit team was representing Arab power. So, I mean, just to give my quick armchair analysis, it looks like we've been really underreporting the influence, the impact that uh, Ataki and Kabuchi hold in this whole milieu of malice <laughs> this is this, this this war landscape um everybody knows about marty and leo rizzuto at the, at the top um greg woolley jean-philippe celestine ice pick Tremel and the blood family mafia but i think we really have to start paying attention to this era power group um and where they stand because it looks like 
They have a lot of muscle. They got a lot of firepower. They got a lot of money. They got international connections. I'm told that uh, Arab Power and Rat Pack Mob have a lot of uh, international smuggling operations going on together, back and forth from the Middle East, drugs, cars, other uh, type of contraband. And Greg Woolley was, you know, he he was a sage. He he was he was prophetic, and he told everyone five years ago that these guys were becoming an issue. Um, and there's been other reporting. I think this also came out in the Journal of the Montreal Story that Woolley was telling people that he might want to retire, that things were getting so heated with all these groups that he was wanting to tap out with his, with his wife and his newborn child and, and not be involved anymore. Um, he was the godfather of, of, of street gangs and uh, his murder has, has had quite the domino effect. We mentioned earlier, uh, uh, Celestine now is with Hell's Angels, Tupac Atna and the Rat Pack mob who had left the Rizzuto camp and joined the Hell's Angels camp. Um, last year are now back with the Rizzuto camp. So it's confusing, but uh, I wanted to fill everybody in about Arab power and where they play in this. So just keep an eye out on that. Um, but, you know, my final takeaway is all these layers, man. So it's <laughs> like, if, if, if we're reading the tea leaves here, it looks like the Wooly murder or the Wooly assassination, um, went through three different organizations before it actually got carried out. Hell's Angels gave it to the Rat Pack and it, the Rat Pack had been suspects of the actual being the trigger men. Now it looks like they might've been the middlemen um, and, and gave it to Arab Power. So it gets crazier by the day up there. We'll keep on updating you whenever we get new information. Keep, Spreading the word, like, share, subscribe, OG Pod, um, uncovering the underworld, one city, one country, one story at a time. Um, you're always going to get the latest breaking news with us, and you're going to get the uh, the best, most elite analysis and insight. We're rolling out a bunch of long form interviews to end the year after we took a break for about a month. Um, we've, we've done three that we got in the can from last week. We're going to try to do three more this week and keep that pace up until the end of the uh, end of the new year. Um, check out our Patreon members only where we uh, go a little bit more history, a little bit more analysis, a little non OC true crime stuff. And uh, we love, we love bringing you this news. We hope you love consuming it. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. Out.